I'm going to be showing you how to make a private password protected folder on a Mac. First thing you want to do is you want to create a folder. I have one here I created on my desktop for easy access. And I put things in here that I want to be hidden. Um, these are just examples that I'm using. I don't really care to have those hidden. but So I created that folder and I put whatever I wanted into it. And what you want to do is you want to go to your utilities and go to your disk utility. And when that is open, you're going to want to go to your file, new, disk image from folder. You're going to have to choose what folder you want to make private. So it's just here on my desktop, my folder that I created. Uh, we're going to use that. So we'll click that, click image. And you can change the name of it, but I'm going to keep it to private. And you can put where you want to put it, or you can move it around later. But for the format, you want to change it to read and write, so you can edit whatever you put in there. And for encryption, 128-bit, put a password on there, and save. So it's going to copy whatever is in that folder to the new um, disk drive. So put your password in. Make sure it's something that you won't forget because if you forget it, there's no way of retrieving it. Most important, you want to unclick remember password in my keychain because if you remember the password, it's going to defeat the purpose of trying to keep it hidden. So remember to unclick that. And okay, so now it's going to create it and it's copying everything from that private folder into the new private disk drive. So once that's done, then you're going to delete the original folder. So that's done. You can close your disk utility. Um, everything that was in here is now in here. So you can move this to the trash. Erase that. So now you can move this around. You don't have to leave it on your desktop. You can hide it somewhere in another folder so it's hard to find. But once you click it, it's going to ask you for your password that you created. Remember, don't click on Remember Password. Okay. So now that's open, then you can go to your Finder. And here it is, right here. So whatever is in here will be hidden until you open it with the password. You can put files in here. Um, only thing is you can't put movies once it's created because the files are too big. So if you have a bunch of videos that you want to hide, first you would create a folder with all the videos that you want to keep hidden and then create the private disk drive. So once you're done with what you need to do in here, watching whatever you need to watch, and you want to hide things again, all you have to do is press this eject button, and it's gone. And you can't find it unless you open that up and put your password back in. Plain and simple, very easy, right?